Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Masters of the Universe Revelation Stinkor from that Netflix series that I have yet to watch. I just knew a Stinkor was coming out and it looked cool, so I had to get it to add to my Stinkor collection. And as you can see, the box is pretty cool. It shows everything that you get with the figure. On the left side of the package, you get this awesome artwork of Stinkor wearing his little mask. And the artwork on this package is phenomenal. On the right side of the box, it says Stinkor, Evil Master of Odors. The back of the package showing off even more awesome Stinkor artwork. There's a little bit of read-up information and all four figures that are from this wave. You got Fisto, Andrea, Scareglow, and Stinkor. Here we have a close-up of the read-up information, so feel free to pause it if you want to read it. Stinkor comes with a fist hand and a gripping hand equipped. We also get the alternate gripping hand, and then we also get a open palm sort of waving hand. Stinkor comes with the alternate head as well, and I love this head sculpt because his eyes are sort of squinted down looking mischievous. But I love how they painted the actual eyes and eyelids like this glossy paint. Meanwhile, his fur and the plastic is more of a matte look. So it makes the eyes sort of pop out in more realistic in a sense, even though it's based off of a cartoon. But still a really cool head sculpt. Tons of little sculpted in fur and everything. But what's cool is this little rebreather comes unpegged and it shows his weird little, little mouth which is just it's crazy looking. Now you know you're not going to be Stinkor without that classic blue shield, and it's done in this like metallic-y blue plastic, looking really nice, and uh, actually has strapping sculpted in there, which looks really nice as well. It's not just like a little clip-on type of thing, and I, I like that. I like the fact that it all sort of looks more like a realistic shield. But the only bummer is that's all that Stinkor comes with. No gun, just a shield. Now taking an up-close look at Stinkor and the current head sculpt that comes on him is just, it's awesome. It's classic Stinkor and his eyes are just bugged out. He's got a little bit of teeth going on in there. It's just looking very cool. The paintwork, the sculpt work is very, very well done on this figure. I mean, it, I, I'm quite impressed in hand. Like with these Revelation figures, if other Revelation figures are just as good, holy crap, you He-Man fans are in for a treat or have been enjoying this treat because I know they've been releasing multiple waves. We got some, uh, I guess, oxygen tankards on the back. They're just casted in blue, that metallic blue, same as the shield. Um doesn't look too bad. Only thing that bugs me is on the bottom of mine. If you guys can see that. Look at the look at the chunks of plastic from the mold. I think it's on both sides. Yeah, it just looks nasty, but I I can let it pass due to the fact that these are supposed to be like metal like oxygen or gas tanks or something. But I was just I, I, when I saw it out of the package, I was like, gotta be kidding me. Because that's my luck with figures. Usually, you know, I get all these QC issues with my figures. Um, the orange in his armor and everything is definitely a different type of orange. Because we're used to seeing that, like, darker orange. But this still works. The sculpt is very sharp and clean. The actual sculpt in his arms and the fur look really well done. Paint for white over black looks phenomenal. Uh, he has his little fuzzy diaper loincloth, which looks great as well. Has like a wash over it. So it's casted in that brownish plastic with a wash. The belt's clean. Like this figure is clean as hell. I I'm, I can't say it enough. I'm impressed. Mattel swinging hard with these He-Man figures. Even the legs, they're all sculpted with the fur. Looking clean. Get down to his little feet with little claws and stuff. These these are beautiful. Like, for me being just a Stinkor fan, I am 
crazily impressed because this is a very cool looking figure and everything on it is pretty damn clean. Let's go ahead and dive into some articulation and uh, his head can do pretty much a full 360. Um, it can look up, can look down sort of like his armor and stuff sort of gets in the way. And let's just sort of see if we can take this armor off. I think we can. So uh, pop his head off. Let's get the armor out of the way so we can really take a good look at that articulation. Oh, yeah. But, uh, look at the sculpt under the armor. What the hell? That looks great, too. I'm geeking out over here. Like, I'm not a huge He-Man fan, but I can appreciate some damn good sculpt work, and this figure has it. Um, I, it looks great. And there's articulation under here I didn't even realize. But, so his head can do that full 360 like I was showing um, it's a little bit tough because it's how his head's designed. Um, his arms, full on T pose. Full T pose. We got the bicep swivel. Um, his arm can do the full 360 as well. We get double jointed elbows in these guys. Double jointed. Wrist rotation, bend in the wrist. That works. We got a little ab area which i didn't realize because he had the armor on so you get tons of hula hoop motion in the chest waist swivel which i mean this is my only gripe i i hate swivel like this because of the bookshelf hips i mean you, it just looks nasty just looks nasty but it's it's articulation there he can, oh, he can do the full Van Dam. He can Spartan Kick. Let's go backwards. Eh, eh, not really much back. Thigh cut. We get, here, I'll do this leg. Double jointed knees. Double jointed knees. That's so good. And boot swivel, ankle bend. And there's pivot in the ankle. And, I just noticed, completely pinless. Pinless. Holy, I, I, I can't, I mean, I can't really say enough. This is a freaking badass figure. Here we have Stinkor posed up, ready for battle. And you can see, like, the shield and everything, it looks really nice. And you got the fist up there and stuff like that. It's just like, he would have just been better with some sort of, like, like, some sort of ray or gun or flamethrower or stink gun or something that would maybe attach to the containers on the back or something like that um just so you get a little bit more playability out of them uh but still i mean for him to be equipped like he is it still looks great you know getting them all posed up and one thing that's nice that palm hand actually fits the shield like a glove like, I was thinking, I'm used to other shields where they have to go through the whole hand and everything. But they really designed that hand to fit this shield perfectly. And I'm sure you can get some other uh, uses out of it because it is a nice gesture. But still, you can see how the shield fits. And it looks great. Alright, here we got a Stinkor party. We got the OG, we got the classics, we got the Revelation. And that's pretty much where I'm at with Stinkors. As other ones that I would have wanted to get were pretty much crazy expensive but these look great together and if you look at the og armor then you got the classics and then you got the revelations they're all different tones of orange it's almost like if they would have took this plastic and blended it with that plastic we would have got the proper color but they look pretty awesome and then one thing i did notice as well is right-handed left-handed right-handed why didn't they just continue making them right-handed or at least give us the option to put the shield in the right hand it doesn't doesn't really make sense there. So these are just little nitpicky things, but the the figure looks awesome. Now let me get the OG out of the way. And the classic. We're gonna do some other size comparisons. So we bust out a Marvel Legends. Got Hammerhead here. You really see size comparison there. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit hulking, but we do got because the the classified series bat is pretty tall. So we got that one. 
So looking pretty awesome. And he still towers enough above as he should as he's a crazy skunk beast. And let's try one other size comparison. Because I do love me some Mythic Legions. And uh, yeah, he scales pretty well with Mythic Legions. When it comes to Mattel and the Revelations line, these figures are impressive. The Stinkor being my first one, and it sort of knocked me on my ass because it is that nice of a figure. The sculpt work, the articulation, the paint work is super clean, and you get alternate heads, and you get the hands. I mean, it's awesome. Sure, I can nitpick it. I mean, you can nitpick any figure nowadays, but this one, for me being a Stinkor fan, hits the, the 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 nostalgia you know i'm sitting here i'm like i'm just looking at how cool this figure is and i'm stumbling over my words and yes it hits right in the nostalgia and it looks like stinkor it's awesome the addition to the little like oxygen gas canisters on the back just really cool idea and this figure is just great if you're a stinkor fan go pick it up if you're a he-man fan go pick up some revelations figures because these things are it for he-man fans and that sums up my unboxing and review of He-Man Revelation Stinkor. If you guys are enjoying my videos, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. Make sure you guys hit the silver video icon so you guys can make sure you know when I post up a new video. But most importantly, go ahead and check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. You got the links down below. Go check out some collectibles for yourselves. And also, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.